So recently, Vivzipop has taken to Twitter to address not only the claims that Luna isn't talking in the show that much because of personal drama, but also to determine why certain writing decisions were made in regards to how the show has been written so far. I'm gonna read out some of her tweets. Erica isn't on socials anymore, but I'm sick of people's conspiracies about her in the show. She's going through enough. Stop speculating her personal life. It was simply that two to three years ago when we recorded season two, we didn't have as much budget as we do now. If a character didn't play a significant role in an episode which Luna doesn't always in the early episodes, it was easier on the budget to not have her speak. It's as simple as that. In hindsight, two years later as these episodes release, I do very much regret not having her speak more. Especially in Western Energy. I 1000% regret it in hindsight, but we thought it might be a fun way to show a more puppy side and save a little budget, not deliberately keep Erica out. That was not how we were thinking. Actors record all at once, it felt like we had her in lots. Luna is in more episodes and does more this season. We are not even halfway. Rumors over my cast get really old. While I'm on the subject, no guest actor got paid more than the main cast. They all agreed to be in the show fairly. So can y'all chill? Please leave the cast alone. I kinda wanna delete this thread, so someone cap it. I'm pretty sick of having to info dump just to stop people pestering the crew and cast about shit that isn't any of their business. Don't worry, Viv. I've got you covered. In regards to what Vivzy Pop said, I would say that animation and film do take a lot of time, so it's not a surprise that these episodes were made over two to three years ago. That's when they were recorded, written, and they've been being produced ever since. Factor in the fact that COVID was two to three years ago, and you can imagine the immense stress and pressure that a lot of the showrunners were under when making these episodes. It may have just been easier to save a little bit of money by not having Luna in every single episode. While I agree that I wish Luna had spoken in Western Energy, I can understand finding a very creative and inventive way to save money, even if it did come at an awkward time for the story. I would like to ask all of you what your thoughts are, and to not harass any of the showrunners or producers on the show. They make hell of a boss so we can enjoy it, and we enjoy it so they can keep making it. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts, and I'll see you all next time. He can get hurt.